This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. It's beyond the scope of this course to teach you the algorithm or one of the algorithms for sorting. There's actually many different algorithms for sorting. But what I can show you is how to use the built-in sort method that's part of the Java language. And to be honest, that would be the preferable way to sort anyway because your algorithm is probably not going to be as fast as the algorithm that's built into the Java language. So in most situations, you should use the algorithm that comes with the language rather than one that you write yourself. So let's look at how to use the sort method to sort the elements of an array list. First thing we have to do is import a new class into our program, the collections class. So we'll do that first. Then you'll see I've already written some code to create a random number generator, to create an array list, to populate the array list with values. And then I've written a method to display an array list so that we can display the array list before it's sorted and after it's sorted. So to sort the array list, first we'll display the old one or the one before it's sorted. Then to sort the array list, we call the sort method and we have to do that by first naming the class collections and then the method sort, just like we had to do with some of the math methods where we had to list the class first, math, dot, and then the method that we wanted. Here we have to write collections, dot, and then sort. And then all we have to do is provide the array list to the method and it will sort it into its ascending order. It does that by default. You can also pass what's called a comparator to change how the sorting is done, but that's way beyond the scope of this course. So we're just going to use the default means, which would be ascending order for integers. So once we've sorted the class, then we're ready to display it again. So we do that. Now we're ready to save and compile and run. So we'll save the file, clear the screen, compile, and then run it. And so you see that the unsorted, it's 88, 32, 39, 50, 47, 1, 30, 45, 61, and 62. And then sorted, we have 130, 32, 39, 45, 47, 50, 61, 62, 88. I left it with this 10 items to make it easy to see the sorting after it's performed. Let's do it again. And there's another example. So sorting an array list is quite simple when you're using the built-in sort method. All you have to know is that you need to import the collections class, and then you call the method by naming the class with the dot operator, followed by sort, and then the name of the array list you want to sort, and that will sort it into order for you. That wraps up our discussion of array lists, and now we're ready to move to the exercises. In this first exercise, we're going to see how to use an array list to determine if a word or a sentence is a palindrome. And a palindrome is just a word or a sentence that is the same forward and backwards. For example, Bob is a palindromic word, and a man, a plan, a canal, Panama is a sentence that is spelled the same forward and backward. And we'll look at that in the next lesson.